Remember the time when there used to be these amazing places you could go to and delicious food would be served to you over there? Well, if you cannot remember, those places were called restaurants. And let's say if you are at a restaurant and you got too excited about the food and maybe dropped the drink or maybe the soup on your cloth, well, today I'm going to show you how to easily remove that using the technology of frequency separation in Photoshop better than Tide. So, by using frequency separation, we're going to be separating the color and the texture and treat them separately, thus allowing us to remove the stain even from complex areas. Also in this tutorial, I have an action for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the brilliant world of Photoshop and from the looks of it, it seems like this man is also pretty unhappy about dropping that drink and we're going to fix that for him. Maybe. You won't be able to fix that smile, but definitely we can fix that stain and later we'll see if we can fix that smile. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is to play the frequency separation action. And that is the action I was talking to you about. You can check the action in the links below so you can download that. Links are in the description. So we're going to go to window, actions, and I have this pix frequency separation. After you have downloaded that action to import it, all you have to do is to click on this grid right there and choose load actions and from there locate the action click on it open it it will be imported right there which is pix frequency separation if you want to learn how this action was created or how frequency separation works you can always check out this video for the simplicity of this tutorial i'm just going to open this action set and play one of these if your image is 8 bit play the fs 8 bit if your image is 16 bit play the frequency separation 16 bit and you can check that right here have a look rgb 8 that means it's 8 bit or if you go to image mode have a look what is checked 8 bit is already checked if 16 bits would have been checked you would choose fs 16 bit so fs 8 bit is the one let's play it now it will open up Gaussian Blur dialog box for you. Now in this dialog box, take the radius all the way to the left and slowly and gradually increase it and stop at just the point where all the texture is gone. I'm going to keep it at about 10 because most of the texture is gone here. Plus only the color stays, right? No other details stay. So I'm kind of happy with this. Hit OK. And it's done. It's separated into color and texture. If you open up this group, FS 8-bit Imperfect, let's open that up. So this is low frequency, which means only color information. And this one is high frequency. So if I turn off the high frequency, you will only see that there is only color information, no details. If I turn on the high frequency, the details are going to come back. So what we have to do, first of all, let's take care of the color. Now I have an important warning for you. Now before we go ahead and start removing the stain, working on the color and the texture, it is very important, and this should be step number one, it is very important that there is no stain on your monitor screen. Trust me, it might sound dumb, but legend has it that a lot of people have gone crazy because they missed this step. All right, so don't miss it. Make sure you clean your monitor and make sure there is no stain on it. So to keep it non-destructive, first of all, select the low frequency layer and let's create a layer on top of it. It is this layer where we will cover up the stain and replace the color. So for a moment, we can turn off the high frequency or the details layer. And in this layer, we can just simply name it remove stain one, stain color one. All right. Now take the brush make sure the flow is at about 20% and before moving forward for a moment select the eyedropper tool make sure the sample size is 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 and sample is current and below only current layer will not work all layers will work and current and below will work we want to select current and below take the brush back again flow 20% make sure it's a soft round brush and then just zoom in and all you have to do is to hold the alt or option Click to take a sample and paint over it. See what we are doing? Let's zoom out a little bit and do that. Make sure that you're maintaining the ups and downs, the peaks and valleys of the shirt. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. We took care of most of the areas, but if you have a look at this area, we have actually covered more than required in the tie as well. No problem at all. Let's turn it on and simply choose the eraser tool and erase that area back in. 
Now let's take the brush tool back and do that area carefully. There we go. Now that we have removed the color of the stain, it is important for us to remove the edge texture of the stain. What do we mean by that? Let me show that to you. So let's turn on the high frequency. Right now you will have a look that if I zoom out, the color of the stain is gone. However, the edge texture still stays. So how do we remove that? Select the high frequency layer. Let's make a duplicate of that by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Now this is just a duplicate we want to have as a backup. So turn it off because right now, whatever we're going to be doing, it's going to be absolutely destructive because when we were replacing the color, we did it on a brand new layer. We could erase it. We could decrease the opacity if we wanted to, but in this case, editing the high frequency, it's going to be absolutely destructive. So that is why we made a copy. So with the high frequency layer selected, select the clone stamp tool right here. Make sure sampling is on current layer. This is very important. Otherwise, it'll all just go and make a mess of itself. So if you choose all layers, it will just won't work. It'll create a crazy result. So just make sure current layer is selected. Let's zoom in and take a sample by holding the Alt key or the Option key. Click to take a sample and just remove the edge. Just take care of the edge. That's all you have to do. There you have it. Look how clean this is, my friend. So let's zoom out and take a look at the before and after. So here is the before. Here is the after. Totally gone. The texture is still there. Looks amazing. Flawless. All right. Now, how do we remove this area? Like we talked about before, using frequency separation, this will be easy too. So let's create one more layer on top of low frequency. And we're going to name this removes stain color two for a different area, right? Now, again, we have to turn off the high frequency and just make sure we come back to remove stain color two. Take the brush. We will do the same thing here. Let's decrease the flow to about 10% in this case. And then just take a sample and paint. That's all we got to do. Now, sometimes it is difficult to paint up to down. So hold the R key and rotate it just like that. And then when you release the R key, it will get you back to the brush tool. Holding the R key will momentarily take you to the rotate view tool. If you want to reset it, all you have to do is to hold the R key again and then click on reset view and release the R key. It will get you back to the brush. So let me rotate that. And now let's paint over this area. Similarly, we have to remove the color from the inside of the glass. So let's quickly do that. First of all, let's rotate it just a little bit. And with a medium sized brush, take a sample and then just simply paint over. Now keep in mind, we can increase or decrease the flow according to our convenience. So let's set it to 20 again. Seems like we have successfully replaced the color. So right now, let's turn on the high frequency and see where it is. All we have to do now is take care of the texture. So select the clone stamp tool, and then we will do the same thing. Make sure high frequency layer is selected, take a sample, and then just cover the edge areas. Now, right now, all of this looks pretty good. But if you have a look at the edge, there's a little bit of pink remaining. That pink is not there in the color layer or in the low frequency layer. If we turn off the high frequency, it is just not there. But if you turn it back on, you will see a little bit of it because there's a little bit of color in the high frequency layer. So if you change the blend mode back to normal, you will see that there's a little bit of pink right in there. So to remove it, we need to desaturate just that area. So simply select the lasso tool and let's increase the feather to about 10 pixels and select that particular area right in there and go to image adjustments hue saturation and decrease the saturation all the way to the left hand side. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Change the blend mode from normal to again linear light. You will see that pink is gone and there you go my friend. So easily we have removed the stains. Let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the before and here is the after. Flawless, isn't it? Now let's see if we can make him smile about it. So let's create a stamp visible layer at the top. Let's go to filter, 
and then liquify and let's see if it can detect its face it has already detected it and there should be a smile slider and let's make him smile about it awesome now he's happy pretty cool i'm happy too i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials also i wanted to announce this for regular short tips and tricks you can follow me on instagram right there just check out the account there are lots of photoshop tips and tricks right in there as well just a quick little recap all you have to do play the frequency separation action it will separate the image into high frequency and low frequency high frequency meaning texture low frequency color and then you can easily replace the color stain areas by just creating a layer above the color or the low frequency layer and just take a brush sample the t-shirt color or shirt color and just paint over it simple for the high frequency just select the high frequency layer using the clone stamp tool just replace the edge textures edge textures of the stain don't forget it so that's it for the video i would also like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on patreon and helping keep pics and perfect free for everybody forever thanks so much for all your support thank you for watching i will see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating life is for living let's see